Hi Aquarius, welcome to your February reading. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Aquarius, these messages are for you. Take what resonates, ignore the rest. And if it does resonate, please do subscribe, all right? If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box below, as well as my Patreon link. Patreon is where you get early access to all of my YouTube content. So shout out to my Patreon family. They've already watched this reading because they were the first to see it. And you also get exclusive content, um, including next seven day readings that I post over there and yeah we're a family we have a good time and I am close to reaching a goal so I appreciate you guys showing a bit of love and support I'm like 20 away I think from my goals so yeah okay so welcome to Aquarius season this is your time this is your this is your chance this is your opportunity um we all have that one person or maybe it's multiple people Aquarius that you know, we just don't really engage with. It could be a friend, it could be a neighbor, it could be that annoying coworker, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could even be our partner, our spouse. There's that one person that you just know sometimes they just start rambling and just talking and talking and we just kind of like ignore them. We don't engage, we let them tire th themselves out. Now that person or that thing, Aquarius, is going to be your internal monologue this Aquarius season that that voice that you need to like shut out and ignore is your own inner voice okay it's your own like narrative it is those self-limiting beliefs it is the standards that you uphold yourself to that are actually kind of holding you back in a way because you are restricting yourselves it is the boundaries not the boundaries it is the restrictions that you create for yourself that tend to hold you back now Aquarius season is here to give you that last little push because I think a lot of you have been actually struggling and this is like weird for you Aquarius but I think a lot of you have actually kind of been um, starting to come to terms with realize, realizing how much you have not been focused, like how unfocused you've been and how, um, like you may have been focused, Aquarius, but I don't think that you were truly stepping into yourself recently or up until February. I feel as though you have been holding back. You have been suppressing things. You have been like trying to avoid to process certain things. And I think that Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde, I'm pretty sure this Mercury retrograde is happening in the sign of Aquarius. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> So I feel as though now everything that you've been trying to suppress and just not really give your time to Aquarius is now starting to resurface through memories, through triggers. I was also getting downloads about you thinking about your childhood, getting flashbacks about your childhood, something about that. Um, was there something else? I think there was something else, but I forget. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of like the that's that's the energy that i'm embodying for this reading um needing to put yourself first this is your push okay anyways i pulled some cards um and a lot came out aquarius we have romantic love we have it's up to you because you are manifesting your own reality especially the aqua risings right now and the aqua suns you have been awakened okay so it's time to apply everything that has been resurfacing all of the downloads that have you know come to you through dreams through um, intuition, maybe you're watching TV and someone says something very specific to you, something that really resonates, there's a lyric that you hear in a song, allow yourself to be open-minded and inspired because something is up to you. The future is in your hands, Aquarius. Nothing is yet set in stone. You are the creator. We have choose a new direction and then we have the no card. So something is not going to work out. Something, it could be a dynamic that you want so badly to work out. You wanna take things to the next, to the next level when it comes to your career to your business uh, just energetically you want to bring something to the table you want to create something but the answer is no we have to wait until the next few months okay so that's the time frame we're working with now you're going to be confused but guess what Aquarius you confuse everyone else at the bottom of the deck we have the yes card so something is a no and a yes. If you were wondering a yes, no question, the answer is no, yes. <laughs> so something is actually a no. For some, this is a no because you have to choose a new direction, choose a new path, change your approach, okay? Not many people tell you this, Aquarius, but you're very stubborn. And it's kind of funny because Aquarius tends to be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit judgmental. It's like really funny because Aquarius wants to 
you know, they, they know that they're misunderstood. They want everyone to love and accept one another. But at the same time, they have preconceived notions of society because it takes so much. They spend so much of their time in like uh, analyzation mode. <laughs> they spend so much time perceiving society and catching up on all the patterns and like calling things out. Like they spend so much time doing that that they actively start to judge. So I think that we have to churn within our, ourselves, Aquarius, and realize our own faults. You know what I mean? Stop pointing the finger to everyone else, everyone else's things, society's BS. Focus on yourself. What are your goals? I think it's time for us to be a little selfish. Don't wait till, don't wait till Leo season to be selfish. And that's when you get your yes. When you put yourself first and when you change your mind about something, that's when you get your yes. Okay, let's get into the tarot, Aquarius. I didn't mean to drag you anything. It's all said with love. It's just, it's really something that I've noticed from Aquarius because they hate to be judged, but they they tend to put you in a box sometimes. And I'm, I'm just saying that with love. But um, overall, I love Aquas. Very accepting people still, but that's kind of like the, you know, whatever okay i'm good 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 okay so we have the seven of we have the seven of pentacles and we have the five of swords you're abandoning you're abandoning a project a conversation something something hits the wall something is like talking to a wall something is not progressing the way that you want it to be progressing and you're tired you're over it you are letting go of some type of commitment this could be something that you were holding on to long term this could be a relationship this could be a job opportunity i don't know you're you're letting go of some type of commitment because you feel as though you're not on the same page as the people in your life or you're not like your true values is, is not reflective of the company or the career that you um, are involved in right now like it just doesn't really resonate with our life path it seems like and I feel so we need to step up our game Aquarius this is what I told you this is the yes this is the no and then this is the yes you understand there's a new opportunity coming through I'm also getting you're talking to people trying to collaborate with people no one wants to work with you right now and it's really funny Aquarius because you are so focused on like community collaboration friendships like you literally rule friendships but I don't think that you're meant to be working with other people at this time like I really think that Aquarius has a hard time sometimes doing things on their own and I know it's like surprising because Aquarius is a very independent sign but I'm getting for your season right now Aquarius you're not meant to be collaborating people are not seeing your vision they're not on the same page and I'm also seeing that um, communication is very difficult right now so I don't think that we have to put so much emphasis on other people and what they can do for us I think we have to focus on just i don't know like doing our own thing being solo a lot of earth energy here you could be dealing with a taurus or a capricorn specifically or like arguing with your boss you're not seeing eye to eye with your boss i feel so you're trying to pitch something this could also be like a school project or something like that where you end up doing all the work okay or you're trying to pitch an idea and it's like no one believes you like no one has faith in you no one wants to like invest in you it's really giving um the beginning of the uh, Gemini reading that I did for February, I was talking about how Gemini is overcoming so much. Well, they have overcome so much. Now they are in a position to give back to the community. They're in a position to win because they overcame a lot of silent battles on their own and people did not help them out or you know, certain people turn their backs on them, but other people were actually loyal. So now Gemini is in a position of really understanding who is there for them, what to watch out for. Basically, Gemini experienced significant growth. And I think that this is what you are on track to do, Aquarius. It's just unfortunately, it's trials and tri tribulations this February. Things are not going to go your way all the time. Money could be slow for you in February. Um, I do feel as though there's something new that you are starting here, but we need to be very, very, very patient, patient, very calculated as well. There's something that you've been working on, uh, likely by yourself, something that you've been studying, uh, your craft that you've been perfecting. Okay, so keep studying this. This is going to give you success and fulfillment and abundance in the long run. However, we have to wait until 
after Taurus season for this to pick up. I feel so you're also preparing some type of product or service to sell, to put online or something like that. We just have to make some adjustments when it comes to a presentation. So like a website, uh, our portfolio, something is not presentable, something is not ready right now. We have to focus on all the little details. I think um, Aquarius, you may be getting ahead of yourself because your ego is like through the roof right now. You feel like you're ready for something, but you're not necessarily ready, Aquarius, and that's what you're going to be realizing. Remind, remember, you got the next few months card, okay? Also, someone is feeding you lies. Uh, this could be a Pisces, a Leo, or a Virgo in your life. They're feeding you lies. This is someone that is coming to you with a business offer, or they're just really... Um, they're trying to appeal to you. They're showering you with compliments, possible gifts too. I'm also getting someone that love bombs you, okay? It gives you a lot of love, a lot of attention, and then suddenly it's like you have to work for it. They pull back their cold. So that's something to look out for. I'm also getting some type of business deal or like record label that is taking your money. Someone is cheating you. Someone is like taking your money. Someone is not trustworthy. They're promising all of these investments that you're going to get. They're promising a lot of things to you. And I don't think that you should believe them. Okay. Someone is just uh, trying to manipulate you. Okay. I'm also seeing right now you may be feeling vulnerable, Aquarius, because again, things are kind of progressing kind of slowly. But I think you're going to start to get into the groove of the new energy coming in towards the end of February, which is why the hangman is now upside down. But while you are in the process of figuring out, you know, like your vibe, your um, your vision, okay, your intention for the next year, don't be so easily like manipulated, distracted, don't don't get carried away. I feel as though something, again, is a bad investment, okay? I'm also getting like something about a style, like, I, I don't know, like something is like really hit or miss, okay? I don't think that this is a good time for you to do any changes to your physical body, is what I'm feeling. Um, Something is not as successful as you thought it was going to be. Okay, let's just look at the bottom of the deck. We got the Page of Cups. Okay, you're still feeling loved, still feeling supported. I'm also getting something in another state, okay? So another state, another province. I feel so you are something about cross country. I think there's some type of like uh, traveling here. Yeah, a lot of movement um, coming through after the third week. Okay, this February even half three weeks, we have the world card. Yeah, so I feel as though you need to move on from something Aquarius. Let me just see this real quick. There's an idea that you need to move on from. There's also a pattern that you need to release, okay? Again, self-limiting beliefs. There's this pattern you have to release when it comes to your creativity and what you bring to the world, okay? Your art, okay? Your vision. So we have to change our perspectives here. You see how there's like a fish coming out of a cup? No one's going to understand what your vision is, Aquarius. No one understands what you're talking about. Like, what are you saying right now, okay? But you see the vision. You see the beauty. You see the opportunity. So there's really, you're really being challenged to see things from another perspective. I'm also getting something about being on the other side of the world. So you could be dealing with someone that is in a different time zone. There's huge long distance here. Like if you are, you know, in North America, this person is in Australia, something like that. Like two opposite ends, okay? I'm getting someone from a very hot climate. Um... Um, and I'm getting that you're trying to see them or this person is making their way to you. If this is not a long distance relationship, then someone is simply like coming to visit you, but they have a lot of hours to drive. Like it's like a two hour drive, two to four hour drive. Someone is coming to visit you. Okay. All right. Let's pull some um, angel love messages. Ah, Aquarius. Okay, something about six o'clock as well. Um, you're terminating something. I, I see a letter of resignation. You're definitely leaving something behind. Or um, there's a mention here of religious issues. Or sorry, not religious issues. Religious differences or um, cultural differences. So you may be um, traveling somewhere completely different or dealing with someone or your audience. Um <sighs> I'm also getting like you're reconnecting with your ancestry, you're reconnecting with like your, your motherland, but it's like you're not born in that country, but you're a descendant from that country, Do you, you know what I mean? So it feels as though you are doing something cultural, that that you're doing something that incorporates your culture, um, even if you were not born in that country. Does that make sense? Okay. 
All right, let's see uh, angel love message, please, for Aquarius. Um, I'm also getting some type of like relationship dynamic that was just not beneficial to you or some type of like business situation. There's a group that you are leaving, okay, is what I'm saying. Uh, this could be also like a small business. It's not your small business, but I feel so you are um, walking away from some type of responsibility because the people just don't get you. Like they just don't. Okay, let me see. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Two cards fell. We have, it is safe for you to love. Oh, It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of, of all. Yeah, so I do feel as though someone cheated us, okay? They may have physically cheated on you or they stole your money. Someone betrayed your trust. Someone betrayed their commitment. They did not hold their word. And I feel as though you have resentment for this. Okay, and that's kind of like what we need to release. We need to like let go of that. We need to understand that not everyone is going to do us dirty. So it is safe for you to love. We also have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Remember when I told you to choose a new direction? Remember when I said that something is up to you? That is what is being implied with your love life. Okay, very soon. I'm also getting you're meeting someone that is like that has similarities to an ex that you had. Um, it's, you could have been married to this person or you're dealing with this person for quite some time. You're meeting someone that has the same traits, the same qualities as this person, the same birthday maybe, um, but they are better. <laughs> they are better. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it's kind of funny like i feel so even though the the energy is kind of like mm, um with these cards aquarius like i do still see like your sense of humor <laughs> in your own weird quirky way okay let me get more for aquarius so many cards fell we have romantic feelings stay optimistic about your love life but again this this just feels like a mess that i have to ignore okay someone's trying to give you love advice you don't want to hear it you don't care it doesn't resonate like, I just really feel as though you're not listening to anyone or anything right now. We have trust, okay? So all that matters is your own intuition, Aquarius. All that matters is the vision you have for yourself, the intentions that you set, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? We have reconciliation and we have wedding. Yeah, like, okay, so I feel so you're reconnecting with someone that you were married to, reconnecting with someone that you were engaged to, reconnecting with someone that you were with or involved with for a very long time. The two of you may even have children together. There's really emphasis here on that like okay um mention here of like some type of like i want to say arranged marriage but it feels mostly like the two of you come from the same community so it's like naturally you were raised together or naturally you were meant to cross paths because there are similarities with your upbringing okay so i'm getting marriage material okay or some of you are going through a divorce but the reconciliation card is mostly about healing healing when it comes to a past love connection or someone that we thought we were going to marry like i hope that that makes sense but yeah this situation involves a marriage someone also and this is not for all of you but someone from the past is coming back and they're going to profess their love and they are going to ask you for your hand in marriage okay or you're going to be proposing to them i'm getting um yeah you haven't seen this person in a long time they may again long distance they may be coming back from travel like you haven't seen this person in years i don't think that this is like a recent ex i feel as though this is someone that you knew for a long time you were involved with for a very long time and they are abroad they come from abroad <laughs> they come from abroad and yeah they want to marry you or they just got divorced you're hearing word that they just got divorced or out they're not married anymore or something like that okay let me um let me get a moonology card real 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 quick i didn't want this reading to be long okay hurry 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 aquarius please please take a moment to like <laughs> Please take a moment to like this reading. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have you and your loved ones are safe. We have a new start is coming and we have have faith in your dreams, Aquarius. This is your season. This is your time. The energy is all propelling you forwards. Everyone is going through it. It's a lot happening, a lot of harsh aspects right now, but you are the one that is going to just take us there. Just lead the way this Aquarius season. A fiery climax approaches you may be dealing with an aries i feel like, it's like there's this there is a sense of excitement building up within you especially when it comes to love aquarius a fiery climax approaches okay i'm gonna let you go i can barely talk i'm sorry it's the coffee but um i'll let you go and i love you so much bye